So in the previous videos, we've met the first fit algorithm and the first fit decreasing algorithm for bin packing. The third type of situation that we might deal with is using a full bin strategy. Now you'll notice that the name of this does not have full bin strategy algorithm. So it doesn't have the word algorithm at the end. Okay, That's because it's not. The full bin strategy is all about choosing values to make up to 20, or as close to 20 as we can get in this situation. Okay, So we've got our items here, and I'm trying to get them into bin size 20, and I'm going to use um, just my inspection. In fact, I'm going to use inspection to be able to do it. And that's why it's not an algorithm, because there is choice involved. Okay, Now, an advantage of this algorithm is that you usually get a good um, solution to the problem. However, um, disadvantages include that it can be difficult to do, um, especially if there are loads of items. So if there are hundreds of items, then this would be very difficult to do because uh, you'd have to do it by hand. Um, and if the numbers are nasty, so if we're going into decimals, so we're going to horrible numbers, then, um, then we've got problems. Okay. With these numbers, 8, 7, 14, 9, etc., you know, it's going to be all right. So, let's try and pack bin 1. So, probably the best strategy for this is to hunt down the largest value that you've got and try and pair that one up all, uh, as best we can. So, the largest value is H15. And conveniently, with H15, we've also got G5. So we've got a value of 5. So together, they are going to uh, mean that there is zero wasted space. Okay, So that means that bin 1 is saturated. So that's our target. If we can get another bin that's saturated, excellent. So let's try bin 2. So bin 2, and the next largest value we've got is the C14. Now, have we got a 6? Yes, we do. E6. So E can go with C. Now, there is another 6. There is I. And so I could equally have put I there. It doesn't matter. So C14 and E6, and that's 0 now, and so that's saturated. OK. Right, so the next largest is 9. So bin 3, let's go with D9. Now, D9, um, what can we do with that? Well, we don't have an 11. And with the numbers that we have left, we can't make 11. So maybe that's not the best one to work with, right? So let's try another one. Maybe not the 9 then. Uh, let's try the 8. How about A8? That would leave us with 12 left over. OK, can we make 12? Mm, no, doesn't look to be um, from what we've got. OK, so that's no good, right? Some of this with full bin strategy will be a bit of trial and error, OK? So don't expect that you're going to get it first time. It might need some playing around. So um, you, might have, yeah, I mean, you might be screaming at me, oh, Jack, go for that one. Well, I might have just spotted it. B7, J7, and I6, because 7 and 7 is 14, plus the 6 is 20. So. B7, J7, and I6. They can go together because that makes 20, so 0 with that saturated. OK, so we've got 7 gone, uh, we've got the 6 gone, we've got that 7 gone. OK, right, so we've got 8, 9, 9, 8. OK, 
Now, it doesn't really matter how I do this, but I know I can't get another saturated bin. So bin 4 can have the two 9s, so D9 and F9. So that means 2 is left over there. And bin 5 will have to have the A8 and the K8. So that would be 16 in total, so there's 4 left over there. So total wasted space, or total waste, is 6 units. Okay, so I didn't do any better than the first fit decreasing algorithm in the previous video. Um, but the point of this is that what you should do with a full bin strategy is you should try um, a few different scenarios. If you can, try and work your way through trying to get... Um, as many of those bins saturated as possible because you're just trying to minimize that waste that you've got here okay so it might take a few goes to find the most optimal solution um, but you know that's what we've got to do okay so <laughs> there's uh, there's no other way around it unfortunately that's that's the problem with it not being an algorithm Okay, the fact that we do have to actually play around with it to see um, if we can improve upon the solution that we found.